of fraud on the FISA court. Uh, you have deleted subpoenaed emails. You have a knowledge we know that they were warned in August of 2016 not to trust that dossier, which was the bulk of information for the FISA warrants. The subsource in January of 2017 confirms none of that was true, and it was bar talk. I guess just as the wheels of justice turn slowly, uh, I feel impatience over it. Can you give us any update? Uh, yes, Sean. Well, first, you know, as to, the, as to the political correctness, if I was worried about being politically correct, I wouldn't have joined this administration. Uh, <laughs> that's as I that's made actually clear, a good line, too. Okay. Yeah. yeah, well, as I made clear, I'm going to call him as I see him, and that's why I came in. I thought I'm in a, I think I'm in a position to do that. There are two different things going on, Sean. One, I've said that the American people need to know what actually happened. We need to get the, the story of what happened in 2016 and 17 now out. That will be done. The second uh, aspect of this is if people cross the line, if people involved in that activity violated the criminal law, they will be charged. And, and uh, John Durham uh, is an independent man, highly experienced, and his investigation is pursuing a pace. There was some delay because of COVID, but I'm satisfied with the progress. And I've said there are going to be developments, significant developments, before the election. But we're not doing this on the election schedule. We're aware of the election. We're not going to do anything uh, inappropriate uh, before the election. But we're not being dictated to by this schedule. What's dictating the timing of this are developments in the case. And there will be developments. Is Tomorrow uh, there will be a development in the case. It, it, uh, you know, it's not an earth-shattering development, but it is an ind indication that things are moving along uh, at the proper pace as dictated by uh, the, uh, the facts in this investigation. Mr. Attorney General, you once said this isn't about a report. This is a criminal investigation. Um, you were very clear that they spied, the President of the United States was spied on deep into his presidency, you said. Um, now, based on what we know, and Andrew McCabe said it, and Sally Yates said it, and Rod Rosenstein and, and Sally Yates would not sign those warrants today. We know that they, the FBI knew, beyond any doubt, that it not only was that dossier, without the dossier, Yates and McKay both say there's no FISA warrant, that they knew it was false. They were told it was false. The law even requires them, as soon as they know that it was false, to go back to the FISA court. Based on what we know on the record, I just see premeditated fraud against the court, and I wouldn't even lie before Judge Judy, Mr. Attorney General, because I, I think they'd throw away the key in my case. Well, when we feel we can prove uh, a crime beyond a reasonable doubt, it will be charged, I can tell you that.